What is up, guys? I am that boarding school dude. Welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to be talking about a boarding school that you've never heard of. I have heard of it, but you have not. Today, we are going to be crossing the Atlantic, heading over into Switzerland, and we're going to be talking about the most expensive boarding school in the world, Le Rosé. Le Rosé? Le Rosé? I don't know. Here we go. Welcome back, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. Uh, so today, wow, man, look, it's, uh, it's, it's 2021. Outside of my home office, I'm, I'm, I'm still wearing a, a mask. Tom Brady is going to another Super Bowl, and uh, we have a new president. Look, the world is constantly changing. For Tom Brady, maybe not, but in any event, I digress. So we're talking about the most expensive boarding school in the whole world. It is located in Roll, Switzerland. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Girlfriend. You all have one. You don't have a girlfriend. What's her name? Uh, Jean-Claude. Jean-Claude. That is so French. <laughs> I believe in French, the R is a R. So I believe the town's name is Roll, Switzerland. Uh, it's right on Lake Geneva. It's, it's, it's north of Geneva. So it's in the northwestern part of Lake Geneva. This is the school that kings and queens send their children. Um, African dictators, Southeast Asian dictators, um, a lot of them end up sending their children to Le Rose. It is a school that, uh, it, it's a co-ed school, uh, and they teach classes in English and French. When you graduate from Le Rose, you uh, will be awarded uh, International Baccalaureate Diploma, the IBD, is that what it's called? I don't know. I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments section, but you, instead of a high school diploma, you receive the International Baccalaureate Diploma. I'm pretty sure that's right. Now, what does that mean? Well, that basically means that you're up. You're up big. Um, there's a handful of boarding schools around the world um, that award that um, degree slash diploma. It's kind of like a high school diploma on steroids. I mean, let's be honest. Um, most of the graduates attend the top universities in the world. Uh, if they're not um, shipped back to their country where their um, family's royalty and a fact, yes, it is the most expensive boarding school in the world. I believe it's around one hundred and twenty to one hundred and thirty thousand dollars a year. Uh, that's U.S. You know, I, I took about thirty seconds before I started to make this video and just, you know, checked out like a paragraph's worth of information about the school on YouTube, and like it's just ridiculous. So I'm not even gonna waste time and pretend like I know anything about it, but I can tell you that, you know, this is the type of school that is in the same league as Eton or Harrow or Exeter or Andover. I mean, you know, it's that, it's that caliber of school and that name recognition that goes with like the top schools in the world. So look, let's not beat around the bush. Let's just get to it and see what uh, Le Rosé has to offer. I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed. So let's check it out. Education at Le Rosé is bilingual and teaching is in English and French. Students absorb the culture and character of both English and French speaking ways of thinking. Different levels ensure rapid progress in the two Rosé languages. And in total, over 20 languages are taught at Le Rose, ensuring that students also maintain contact with their own culture. Studies. 
20 languages. Sorry, I'm wearing my glasses today because I, well, it's a long story, but 20 languages? Oh my God. And they teach the courses in French and English. Spanish, English, French, Chinese, and even Latin was an opportunity that no other school could have ever given. Look, I'm just going to come right out and say this now, guys. If you're paying $125,000 a year to go to boarding school, look, they can tell you how inclusive the community is. They can tell you how wide a breadth of student body they have. They're taking rich kids, okay? Let's just get that out of the way, like right out of the chute. In the whole world, academic levels are high and the curriculum challenging. In fact, it could not be otherwise, since all students admitted to Rose aim to go on to demanding university. Look at that campus. I mean, wow. I've been to Switzerland, and let me tell you something. You know, if any of you guys know me, you know that I love the USA. Period. I, look, I started a, a clothing line here. If you guys haven't checked it out, you should. Charlie Delta. CharlieDelta.us. You'll love it. That being said, if I had to live anywhere else in the world, out of all the countries I've visited, Switzerland is definitely in that conversation. Believe me, clean, classy. I mean, it takes the cake. Look at this. It's right on Lake Geneva. Big bucks. Trust me. After the final two years of their schooling, they sit the IB, the International Baccalaureate Diploma in English, French, or both languages. I should have gotten Or the French Baccalaureate. The classes are quite small. Um, teachers give us individual attention, and it really does take you to a next level of learning. The quality of teaching and learning... She's like a direct descendant of the Ming Dynasty or something. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't know that. She's probably a direct descendant of the Ming Dynasty. The Rosé is based on simple principles, small classes, personalized care for all students, with a tutor responsible for a small group of pupils, tried and tested study methods, and outstanding facilities. Teaching staff, a particular... I'm sure the facilities are incredible. ...to the progress of each pupil through distinctive boarding school arrangements, where the human relationships between students and adults take on much more importance than they would in a typical day school. Thanks to regular profession... Why do I feel like everything that comes out of Switzerland is just, like, top of the line? You know? In, like, the back of my mind, I'm thinking, like, right down the street, like, there's a Rolex factory or something making finest watches in the world. I don't know. ...development. Teachers unite traditional rigor and academic targets with teaching methods designed to develop their students' intellectual curiosity and motivation. Guys, comment down below. I'm seeing a lot of young kids here, like almost like middle school age. I mean, look, I told you we're just winging this one, but comment down below. I mean, how young of students do they take it? Le Rosé. I'd love to know. Some of these kids look young my best interest at heart um especially with if i have a problem in class i know that outside of the classroom if i need extra help they're available to me and i can talk to them about her name is Al I don't feel comfortable. Her name's allegra isn't that like a hay fever prescription or something i don't know sounds familiar though if i did bad on a test or on an assignment they can help me to improve it it's very open look at that building what is that I'm totally jealous right now. Look at that. I mean, is that a dining hall? Is that, I mean, I mean, it's got to be a... Is that a science building? I mean, like, it's like a UFO. That's amazing. At the heart of La Rose is the Learning Center, where the library holds a collection library. of over 20,000 oh books in several languages. Group work, classes, and private study allow students to gain increasing autonomy in their academic work while still providing the possibility of consulting teachers at any time. All students have their own laptop, 
which they use regularly in class and for homework, with an emphasis on the importance of creativity. And we have conference rooms which we can meet with groups and plan group projects and work together. I'm just going to tell you right now that if I was really wealthy, I would absolutely send my son to this school. I haven't even seen anything yet about extracurricular activities, sports. I don't, I don't even care. I would just tell him. I would mandate him and say, you're going. I think if you go here, it almost kind of guarantees that you're not going to end up like pooping on the streets of San Francisco. I mean, is that safe to say? I think it is. Right. In a more effective and productive way. Students are often to be found outside their classrooms, benefiting from different learning experiences. Cross-curricular themes lead them to recognize the links between different subjects, while work on projects introduces them to the professional world, as do special sessions dedicated to entrepreneurship. What was that guy doing? Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Or lectures and talks about scientific, economic, or political issues. One thing that Rosie does really well is use the exterior as a classroom, not only in the classroom. So we have a lot of cultural trips. We A lot of the younger students go into the rural community, interact with them, um, which is a really great way for Rosé to be associated with rural and for everyone to learn from the people around us. In the two years before graduation, university guidance counselors consult parents and then work closely with each student individually, helping them to choose colleges and guiding them through the complex university application process. Many eminent U.S. and U.K. universities visit our campus, and our counselors are in regular contact with admissions officers across the world. Oh, I bet they are. Because if you're paying the money to go to this school, man, I can't even imagine. I can't even... I can't even imagine you going anywhere but like some of the top, top schools in the world. I don't even think that's a stretch to assume that. La Rose is proud of its consistently excellent examination results and a high percentage of admissions to the world's most competitive universities, including the Ivy League and Oxbridge. It's very intense, but... Uh... I don't know if I'm just like really out of the loop. Um, now, I went to school in England. I don't ever remember Oxford being referred to as Oxbridge. Guys, comment down below. What am I missing? Is there like some other institution of higher learning called Oxbridge that I don't know of? I, I mean, I'm assuming there is, but... I've never heard Oxford referred to as Oxford, whatever. I like an intense lifestyle. Wow. Let's check out one more. The Rosé Open Door tradition sums up the spirit of the school. Contact is easy with a genuine community life shared among directors, teachers, and students. And it's also the best way of taking advantage of the rich mixture of over 60 national cultures pupils bring with them. 60! Coming to Rosé, seeing everybody with a different background, it's, it's really easy to come in and settle in. Everyone is so open. Everyone. I mean, I don't know. She's probably royalty. Like, uh, I don't know. Probably diverse but it brings us together meetings in the cafe or over the traditional morning hot chocolate outings trips and sporting tournaments are all part of rose's family spirit bringing pupils and teachers together can you imagine how smart teachers are at this school i can't even imagine and listen i had some great teachers at boarding schools that i went to fantastic teachers these, these guys must blow my teachers away. I mean, most of my teachers are good. You know, I had a couple crazy ones that were, you know, like 
cat ladies and stuff like that. You know, apartment on campus with like six cats running around. I'm not saying you can't be smart and be living with six cats, but it's kind of weird. The weekly assembly brings the whole community together to celebrate victories and share disappointments and to let many students shine a spotlight on various aspects of school life. And this in front of an audience of 500 people. The Rosé's codes are clear and simple. They set out the school's ethical values, the dress code, details of daily life. I don't see any dress code. I mean, what am I missing here? I'm seeing jeans and, like, sneakers. What dress code? As well as conduct to be avoided. And certain types of behavior are completely unacceptable. So oh my god, I would love to read this school's student handbook. In student handbook of most boarding schools, they outline like the really big like do's and don'ts. I thought one of the most fascinating things about the boarding school that I graduated from, not in the year that I graduated, but like 20 years later, I happened to see a student handbook of the school in like PDF form. And they like went line by line about like, like I'll give you an example, like in my yearbook, like I, or my uh, um, student handbook, my graduating year, I think they like lightly touched on the subject of like, like having or showing affection towards like your like girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever. And it was like, you know, we know it's going to happen, but we kind of discourage it, like from you know, from seeing it. Now these days, like these student handbooks are going line by line, like you know, if, you know, you need to have like verbal consent for to go to like second base, and like you know, verbal consent to go to like an additional base, and like it's wow. But man, I would love to know like what the student handbook states at La Rose about completely unacceptable behavior. I would love to know that. I can't imagine what they, like how in depth they get, but. Taking or possessing drugs. Tests are regularly administered and any positive analysis would mean immediate expulsion. Other actions would run counter to the spirit of the school, such as laziness, rudeness, lack of punctuality, careless work, or inappropriate dress are sanctioned immediately. Wow. Like that. Buttoned Students up. Students have pleasant rooms, single or double, depending on their age, all with ensuite bathrooms. Nice. I get to room with um, people from Bulgaria, Belgium, Spain, Colombia, and every other country I can think of. It, it does make me have an open mind towards new cultures, new norms. Teachers and their families it's amazing. live in every boarding house where they oversee discipline keep a check on tidiness and are ready to lend an ear to Rosian's daily concerns, large or small. On a une tellement bonne relation avec les professeurs pour dire toujours bonjour, on connaît leurs enfants, tout ce qu'ils habitent dans notre bâtiment. I would love to be able to speak fluent French. It sounds so, like, cool and classy. I used to be able to, like, speak Spanish pretty fluently, but I don't feel like it has the same type of ear as French. Campus is awesome. Look at this. Look at the architecture of like, oh, it's so cool. Rakom is our girls' community, but it's not only a community. For me, it's a type of family that we all get together to have dinner. We all get together to have lunch. We have our own meetings. Um, it's it's a family. The girls have their own campus a few hundred meters away from the boys. They have their own campus? Wow. A gender segregated school. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard of that. It's a place with its own extensive facilities. Each campus has its own infirmary in constant contact with the school's doctors. Wow, man. I don't even know what to say. I don't even think I can give that a dude score because I think that I would be totally biased and just give it a 10. Although I wouldn't give any school a 10. I think there's always room for improvement. I mean, if I had to, I'd go 975, same as Exeter. Or, I don't know. I mean, this is... I don't know. Is that the best place on earth? 
Probably. I don't know. I'm not even going to go into it anymore, but man, who knows? Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I know that was a quick one. Not much review there, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. Man, that place looks totally awesome. See ya.